a folder that's been set up for you in Google Docs. And this folder is going to help you collaborate with your partner or partners uh, over the course of Unit 3. So the way to find that folder, if you are in Google Docs, um, if you have not um, clicked all the way through the link, uh, you can go to Shared With Me here on the left-hand side. And what that'll do is open any document that's been shared with you. And so you'll be able to see that team folder uh, generally right there at the top because it'll be one of the newest things. Um, what you can do then to make it very easy, just like the note says, you can drag that uh, folder into the My Drive, or it may say My Docs, uh, for easy access. So all you have to do is take it um, and then just sort of drag it over into My Drive. And the great thing about that is now when you just open the main My Drive, it will show up here and it's also going to show up here on the left hand side. Um, I am actually going to um, also, because the gray to me um, is really hard to read, so I like to right click and then change the color. Uh, so just for this one, I'm trying to think what color I'm not using, um, we'll do something like this bright yellow. Um, so maybe that'll help you see it, and I'll actually star it as well, uh, just to sort of keep track of it as we're going through. So if you open that folder, you'll see that I'm the owner. Um, the, I've set it up that way so that um, if anything needs to be changed or adjusted, I have access as well. Um, and that way, you know, if if your partner goes out of town and you know, or something, and and you know, the ownership of the documents is is with me. Um, excuse me, the folder is with me at the moment. So if you click inside, you'll see that there are two um, docs set up. These are uh, going to help you uh, collaborate. The spreadsheet is really for the quantitative data. Um, you fill out the spreadsheet for your individual research packet. So this is just a place where you can put all of that information. The work plan and the charter is going to be an opportunity for you uh, to put some of the more qualitative data and, and type things up and, and keep them in a more of a, a Word document type form. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet. If you just click it, it'll open up. Um, same headings as the original spreadsheet that you filled out before. So very easily you can go in and copy and paste uh, just to show you how you might do that. If you selected the column and then you could right click copy and then go in and paste it again below it. That way um, you can go in, add your five classes, your other partners can add their five classes, and then you have um, either 10 or 15 depending. I'm going to undo that uh, just to clean it up. And there are some directions here at the, the top to sort of help you get a sense of um, how you might work with it. Um, also, if I wanted to strike an item off my list, a class that I didn't think I wanted to use anymore, I would use the strike through button here at the top. Uh, that way you're not actually deleting your research, but it's very easy for you to just sort of ignore it. You can also move the columns if you um, grab onto them. You can sort of drag them maybe to the bottom uh, because they're less important now. So the most important ones can, can be right there at the top. A um, couple other features. Um, you Feel free to add new columns. I've added one for you, but you can just very simply right click um, and insert one right or left. If you wanted to put additional information in the spreadsheet, you don't have to, but it's there for you. Um, it is your spreadsheet now, uh, just a way for you to collaborate. There's also a chat feature. So if you can see up here, it'll show a little box and say one other viewer. Um, and that's where you can go in and type um, a note to uh, your partners if you wanted to work together. Um, right now, <laughs> I have two different Google Docs open, so I'm t chatting with myself. And I'll show you um, if I click over to another browser um, and I go into the spreadsheet, um, you'll see that that comment is going back and forth. So that might be a way to collaborate without using Skype. Uh, though you're welcome to use Skype. You can just chat within the documents themselves while you're working on them. So I'll go back to this. I'll close out the chat window. Uh, that's the spreadsheet. I'm going to click the back button to go back to the folder. Um, and then I want to show you the uh, work plan space for um, where you can put your team notes. And it's also where the assignment for next time is going, uh, going to be due. It's just going to be filling out the work plan and the charter. Um, so if you click through, you'll see that it starts with just a place to put all your contact information, also prompting you to sign up for a SlideRocket account. Um, SlideRocket will allow you to collaborate and add audio on top of the slides, so you create sort of a mini webinar, which is really great for the online course. 
Uh, you don't necessarily have to get together to videotape the presentation. You can just go in and add your audio at your convenience. Um, but then the, the team prepares uh, a single presentation, a single product. So there's directions for that and spaces for you to list your name, phone number, email, and then your ASU write, which is um, what you'll need to use to sign up for Slide Rocket. Second section is, the, is a team charter. These are just some rules about when you'd like to meet, um, how you'd like to divide team tasks and team roles, and then some goals and some, some objectives for you. As you're going through that, you can change teammate one or teammate two to your name. Um, and I would like this to be a collaborative uh, document. So um, you may go in and, and sort of fill it out on your own, but then have a moment to dialogue either using the chat feature here on the side or uh, over email, over Skype, over the phone. Um, to make sure that it's reflecting everybody's sense of what they want to get out of the team. You can also build off the discussion board commentary and do sign it um, and um, you can change the date to the date that your team completes it. If you scroll down you'll see a simple schedule. Uh, this is just a sense of um, what we'll be doing up until uh, the deadline which will be on the 17th. If you'll notice um, on the, the e-syllabus which is linked here the sort of more extended uh, version of this schedule. Um, I've given you some extra time on a couple of assignments extending it from Thursday to maybe Saturday or um, something like that just because I know that it takes a little bit more time to collaborate and so I'm going to be flexible with that. Um, but that's just a general sense to see we're going to start this week um, planning. Next week we're going to be sort of writing and drafting and then the final week um, when you are getting uh, some feedback it'll be sort of the completing stage and you can go in and make some adjustments. So even though it is a presentation I still want to talk to you about process and about writing. And at the bottom you have a location for some tasks. Um, there's a really great acronym SMART um, that I use to help students better assign tasks that will be effective. Um, it really mimics those five characteristics of effective business communication, making sure that you're being very specific, you're giving um, a direct call to action, you're trying to help somebody understand how it benefits them, not only an individual and the team. Um, it's really just making sure that if you're asking someone to do something, it's very clear, it's documented, it's recorded, um, and, and that's going to help that task to get done. So that's just at the bottom. Um, and I've also added in a couple things about APA references just to make sure that you're not forgetting about that until the very, very end. Just trying to keep up with it. Um, I've also set up in the header of, of this particular document a few links. Um, a couple are bookmarks within the uh, doc itself. So if you click this simple schedule bookmark, it'll move you all the way back up to the schedule. Um, you'll notice there are these little blue marks there. So task divisions also does it if you're at the top of the document and you want to jump all the way down, makes it easy. It's also a link to the e-syllabus. Um, if I click that, that's going to go directly to the online course syllabus. So if you have a question, you want to see the full version, you can do that. Um, and also for the assignment and then the rubric that's connected to it. And you can see how those load um, very easily for you so that um, once you're in those documents, you don't have to worry about necessarily trying to have tons of windows open. Um, to make sure that, that you have it. You can always just click the link and open it and close it out when you're done because you know you can go back to it um, and the rubric as well there. Uh, if you're interested in, early on in how you're going to be evaluated um, and, and sort of graded for this assignment. So that's a little tour of the documents that I've set up for you. About the only other thing um, that I can show you if you click that back arrow takes you all the way back to the main home page. Um, the way that it's set up uh, the folder right here will allow you to easily share information with your team without having to worry about emailing it or sharing it every single time. Anything that's put in this folder is viewable by those that have privileges to view it. Um, and I've set it up so that all your teammates and myself have that access. So I'm just going to, for fun, um, I'm going to drag this, uh, this, this test document, right? Copy of extra credit opportunity. I'm going to drag that into the folder. Um, that's one way to move it. You can also, I'm going to put this, um, this ideas in there. I'm going to show you another way to do it. If you check it and go up to the top and hit the organize key, um, it'll give you a little checkbox. You can, um, if you hold down the control key or the command key on Mac, you can check it in multiple boxes. Or if you want to actually move it all the way, um, you can just click it. So I'm going to do both of them so I can show you that. Click apply. 
And now you'll see that both of those um, items are in the folder. And if I go over to my second version of myself, <laughs> which um, is showing you what it would be like on the teammates end, notice that the teammate now gets to see both of those documents as well. So really super easy. Um, probably the first thing that I would do, um, go in, copy and paste your information from your research spreadsheet into the team spreadsheet, and then you can place your evaluative summary, uh, that written portion, you can either drag that or place an extra copy in the team folder and that way your teammates can see exactly what you did. Quick and easy, no email addresses, no attachments necessary, we're just using the power of the cloud. So I hope that was a useful introduction for you. Um, do let me know if you have any questions while you're working with the docs, but I think you'll find that this really facilitates um, an easier way to share and collaborate uh, the written documents that are necessary in these professional assignments.